Okay, it's been a while since I made a video, travel vlog video. Um, I'm in Corvallis, Oregon. It's a beautiful day, which is not very common for this time of year in Oregon. Um, usually the winters are very wet, but it's a no cloud sky, no wind, absolutely gorgeous. A little bit on the chilly side, about 10 degrees Celsius, so we'll go out there and see how it is. But planning on, I'm downtown. Corvallis and I'm planning on walking towards the Central Park which is a few blocks away and then head towards the river to look at the River Commemorative Park. Um, it's not a very big park, it's, uh, it's a riverfront one along the city frontage. Uh, it's not as big as something you, that you would see in Korea or in Skopje, Macedonia for example where it's the whole length of the city. But it's pretty long, um, so let's go check it out. I actually think the park you can take a trail all the way through the city on the Willamette River, um, but it's not designated as a, an actual official park. So let's go see what's down there and uh, have a good walk. Okay, I'm just right outside the, uh, or pretty much in the center of the city. You'll notice all the trees. Corvallis is actually on the registry, in the some registry in the United States for um, a city with a lot of trees. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, a lot of trees. The city's not very old. It's actually only, uh, you know, from the 1800s, you know. So when you compare that to the cities in Europe, you know, this is a brand new city. And something about the cities on the west of the United States is they're not really made for walking. You know, they're on usually in a very much on a grid pattern. Uh, very dispersed so to get anywhere it takes a long time if you're gonna walk but Corvallis Corvallis along with a lot of uh, other cities in Oregon like Portland and Eugene in particular they're really known for walking and running jogging and cycling so if you're really into those type of activities um, Oregon's a really good place actually I would say more so than California or Washington also there real Oregon is really known for the outdoors like if you're into winter sports summer sports hiking camping fishing hunting very much an outdoor state. This is Sunday, by the way, that I'm filming this, so there's not too much traffic, luckily. This is Central Park right here. In the university, this is right here, basically. All the buildings for the university are spread out. Lots of sororities, fraternities, student housing. There's not really too much in this park though Central Park Elementary. Could my scooter come from over there? Oh, interesting. So I guess there used to be an elementary school here, but not anymore. Let's go to the main park along the Willamette River. Like I said, it runs along the, the city, but the actual park, designated park, is only a few blocks but I believe there's a, a walking trail all along the Willamette River, along the riverfront for the uh, city. Let's go take a look. There's actual uh, an active railroad right through the middle of the old downtown. It's kind of cool that they still use it. I've not really seen any other city um, 
where the railroad is still active right in the dead center of town. Usually it's kind of on the outskirts, but all along the west coast, lots of railroads. They played a major, obviously a major part in the development of these cities. Some skateboarders. This is right where City Hall is, the big special church. It's historical here in Corvallis. Once again, Corvallis is a really small town. It's, I think, only 100,000 people, or maybe less than that, maybe 50,000, somewhere in that ballpark. Here's the main church. So this is heading into downtown. I'll turn it on when I get more into town. Fourth Street, that's third. Um, these are the two main streets that run through the town. Um, you'll find a lot of stores and stuff right down here. It's still a pretty active downtown, but Ninth Street, which is more in that direction, Ninth Street is the main street that's kind of has all, a lot of commerce on it, like more of a strip mall. Uh, definitely you need a, a car to hit those places up. Let's see what we find down here. Yeah. This is Sunday, this is downtown. And there's like nobody here. There's Benny's Donuts, awesome donut place. And if this was like, it's just so different, you know, the stark contrast between Europe or even places, you know, in West Africa or Asia compared to the US. Like Sundays, things are pretty much not open. And even if they are, you don't see people walking on the sidewalks. It's kind of crazy. It's very much a car culture. You drive from one spot to another. Ooh, look at that coffee store. have a lot of restaurants with the uh, outdoor seating um, in regards to COVID here you could travel to Oregon there's no quarantine necessary however they recommend you quarantine if you come into the state but it's you know just a guideline it's not mandatory um, and there's no indoor seating currently at least this week but a lot of the counties and uh, states other states are opening up right now so you just have to check uh, online before you come. Okay. Make sure video's on. Oh, cool. I've never been down here. Like a the river's kind of high on that uh, east part of the river, the Willamette River. There is really nothing other than a golf course, uh, park area. 
Looks like this is a really nice park, actually. Looks like they typically have some stores and some restaurants and cafes along here as well. Maybe a great place to uh, eat your lunch, take a date for a walk. That's the Willamette. So this Willamette River runs pretty much from the end of the valley towards, uh, uh, it goes into the mountains obviously, but Eugene's kind of roughly where it starts and heads down through uh, Salem, Portland, dumps into the Columbia, and then into the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, cool play structure for kids. A lot of basalt columns to sit on. Cool. Well, anyway, that's the river commemorative park here in Corvallis. It actually looks like a really cool place to, like I said, grab a lunch, drink a coffee, hang out with a friend. Uh, next few weeks, month, probably up until summer, actually, I'll be checking out the other little parts around here in Corvallis and the surrounding area if you're interested. Uh, check my channel back and uh, subscribe. Catch you later.